Well, Tampa's most famous hot dog place is for sale. Mel's Hot Dogs opened up on Bush Boulevard almost 50 years ago. But before you put in an offer, make sure you are ready to take over this Tampa institution. The real estate listing says the new, note, new owner here has got to be just the right person. And making hot dogs. Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers reports from North Tampa. This is sure to be one of the most talked about new real estate listings. They are looking for a qualified and conscientious buyer to carry on a legacy of hot dogs served with personality. Raise that. His hot dogs are often called the best in town. Now we're doing it Mel's perfection this way. But what you can't get anywhere else except at Mel's Hot Dogs in Tampa, Florida is Mel. I am crazy. No, I'm certifiable, man. I'm definitely crazy. And I pride myself on that. <laughs> Mel Lone was a rock and roll saxophonist who at 27 gave up hard parties for soft buns and his own wiener mobile. He opened Mel's in 1973 with fries made in freshly cleaned canola oil. Clean is one of his favorite things. You know, this is a 76 and a half year old body. It needs some respect. <laughs> How did you find a camel with a Mel's bumper sticker? For years, people have put Mel's bumper stickers in odd places all over the world. Oh, is that, yeah. Now, is that a fake Stonehenge? Or is nope, that the, that's the Stonehenge, the... yep. And with every hot dog, he made a friend. I nicknamed him Hot Rod. And he would come up here every day, and he did for like 26 years. More about people than hot dogs. In the beginning, we would give people a number. I mean, for like first couple of weeks, you know, you're number five, you're number ten, and I went, oh, you know, get their name. But Mel's final sale will be the business he spent half a century building, and he has a special order for the buyer. I wouldn't sell it if somebody's going to change it. It's absolutely has. To, where am I going to go get a hot dog? <laughs> I mean, it has to stay the same. What's for sale here is 50 years of what Mel made, more than just hot dogs. So what's the price tag for all this? Bay Street Commercial Real Estate says they will discuss that when the right buyer gives them a call. They'll see who's qualified to carry on this legacy. In North Tampa, Lloyd Towers, Fox 13 News. And now we all want a hot dog, right? So what will Mel do when he sells? Well, he says he's going to join the senior tour. Golf is one of his favorite things.